This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, discounted prices, miniaturemarket.com. London Dread is a story-driven cooperative game that's real-time for two to four players, where each player is going to be programming their board as to what space and what part of the city they'll be going at different times, and they're trying to get together to complete tasks. Characters at a specific location will be pulling together how much experience they have to try to take on that task, but they can add other cards and such as items and things to help them through the tasks. And each of the four different stories that come with the game have different plot cards, which makes every game feel different, some of them different rules, and you'll be rolling dice along with certain abilities to be able to try to get past all these plot cards to make it towards the final challenge. And each story has their own antagonist, their own challenge cards that you're trying to get through, and it all comes down to a final dice roll where characters need to pull together their success dice rolls all the way up to depending on how much dread they've encountered throughout the game. So this game's about real-time cooperative programming team together and trying to live out those actions. Hello my friends, it's the Game Boy Geek here. Yes, the story driving this game is really what drives the game, although it does have that simultaneous real-time cooperative programming. If, if you don't like co-ops, if you don't like programming, and if you don't like real-time, it's probably not the game for you. But if you like those things or a mix of those things, this is gonna be the one that you're gonna wanna probably try out because it's fresh, it's different, it's unique, and it doesn't feel like any other game I've ever played. It really int it integrates a well thought out story and stories that you can play more than once. It's not a consumable uh, and, and the story is driven really well. And the mechanics are pretty simple, but you have that time crunch and then you're getting down to a final die roll. Some of the negatives are some people might not like it being done to that, that, that last die roll to the end of the game. I feel like you can mitigate it quite a bit, but it does come down to a die roll and it does take some time to set it up, but it's a very interesting package. It's very unique if you like those things, and this is definitely one to check out, and that's London Dread. This video was sponsored by Miniature Market's Review Corner. The Review Corner features podcasts, video, and written game reviews by gamers for gamers. Miniature Market, the online gaming superstore. Thousands of board games, discounted prices. Check them out at miniaturemarket.com.